All right, hello everybody. Today I will be showing y'all how to do a radiator flush on a 2000 Chevy S10 with a 2.2 liter motor. So the drain plug is right down there. Magnify it. Come on, focus, focus. Right there. So we're gonna unscrew that and yeah. Uh, you guys want to make sure that y'all let y'all car cool down for about 30 to 40 minutes before y'all do this because the water could be really hot and it could burn y'all and burn me a little bit. But here's the drain plug. And we just let it drain for now. Oh, we're going to open the, the radiator cap so all the pressure goes out and... It releases everything much easier. All right, now that it's all drained, we're gonna put the radiator cap. What the fuck am I saying? The radiator? Yeah, the fuck the plug. Yes, it's being screwed fast as hell. Yes. So we screw that back in. Make sure it's screwed on. But uh, yeah, yeah. What the hell is going too fast? But yeah, hand tight. So we're gonna use the distilled water. And we're gonna pour it in there. And we can only use distilled water. You cannot use like filter water or water hose water. It's better to use this. I was going to use the three gallons, but then I realized later on that I only needed like one and a half gallons. So pour it in. Yep. What I just said. All right. So at this point, no more water was going in. So you have to turn your car on so your water pump can suck all the water in and you can put more water in. So yeah, go ahead and turn your car on, people. And you also want to make sure that your drain plug is not leaking. Yeah, make sure your drain no plug leaks. is not leaking. So let's turn it on. All right, now that it's on, we're going to keep filling it up. These damn radiators, the way Chevy built on their sideways side, it's such a pain in the ass. I then added one bottle of radiator cleaner, and now it's full to the top. So we're going to go ahead and put the cap back on, and we're going to go and run it for about 10, 20 minutes. I only do 10, but yeah, make sure that cap is tight so it doesn't leak. And we're going to... Uh, I couldn't screw that. Fuck this shit. All right, we're gonna take the jack stands out, and we're gonna put it down. We're gonna put her down. Come on. All right. All right. Now you want to make sure uh, you turn your AC on all the way to hot. And right now it's 1:45, and we're gonna drive it around. For about 10 minutes uh, you want to keep an eye on your temperature gauge make sure it doesn't overheat and we should be good we're gonna speed things up come on come on all right it's been 10 minutes we're gonna check on the temperature gauge and make sure it is not overheating so yes thumbs up we jack the the truck back up we're gonna open this bitch up and we're gonna let it cool down Oops. Go. gonna let it cool down because we do not want boiling hot water in our faces all right now we're gonna dispose of the old coolant and we're gonna put it back into the bottles we just used And yes, I know I dropped like half of it, but it's okay. No problem. And look how dirty that shit was. Okay. Now that the water is cool, we're going to drain the water and we're going to unscrew that plug. Let me zoom in it again. Just so y'all know which plug I'm talking about. It's only one, but all right. Oh, uh, that oh, it's raining! It's raining! Come on, come on, catch it all, catch it all! All right, now we're just gonna let that drain, and I got this shit on my hands. 
So guys, we're only gonna need a gallon and like a half of another gallon because when I try to fill up the radiator with just distilled water, it didn't take more than a gallon and a half. I thought it was gonna take three because that's what I read online, but it only takes like a gallon and a half. So we're gonna let this drain and then we're gonna put the new coolant in. But yeah. All right, so once it drains all the water out and you think it's all drained out, you should go and turn your car on so the water pump can push the rest of the water that's in there. You know, just push it right out. Whoa, that's no good. Uh, I need to change the fuel pressure regulator, which I will be making a video on that. That's why it kind of struggles to start. So if your car struggles to start, it's probably your pressure regulator, your fuel pressure regulator, but there's no water in there and it's just gonna push the rest of the water that's in there. Maybe run it for a couple seconds. And then you could give it a little gas. And then we're gonna turn it right off. We don't want your car to explode. All right, all that water should be out. We're gonna put it back on. All right, pretty much done. Just make sure you tighten it. Tighten it pretty good, just by by hand. And then we're gonna put our, our fucking, what's the shit called, our funnel. We're gonna get our coolant. All right, so that was one gallon and it's almost filled. Uh, well, yeah, it's almost filled. Can't really tell through here, but we're about to open this one up. We're gonna turn the car on so the water pump can move all that water through and it can just suck it all in through there and more can fit. So I'm about to turn the car on and continue. All right, now that I turned the car on, it did suck the water in. So, do that, we'll open this bottle. Let me set the phone down actually. Pretty cool. Shit, okay. That seems to be pretty full. And it only took hold on, hold on, hold on. It only took about maybe a quart. You can kind of see the water through here. It only took that much. So it took like another quart. It's a little over a gallon. See, I thought it was gonna need three, but I guess I bought some for no reason. Let me just return it. But yeah, I'm gonna take this off. It's gonna drop a little water, but no problem. Perfect. Got brand new coolant in there. And we're gonna close it. And we're done. And that is how you do a radiator flush. I still need to take that out, but we're done here. It's clean, new coolant. Thanks for watching.